Hello and welcome to this Studio Brutal video. Here I'm going to show you how to make this FM bass sound that you can hear in the background. That's it soloed. Um, I'll show you how to make it, but you don't have to make it yourself. There's a download in the description. It's totally free. You can go and get that. And then I'll show you how to use it and how the macros are set and everything like that. So yeah, go and download that. And please like and subscribe as well while you're there. And yeah, uh, I'll show you how to use it. Let's get into it. So basically, this sound, I mean, you, it's uh, it, this sort of bass was used a lot in um, sort of those tribal house records of the late 90s, and it's used in a lot of modern techno records. It is basically um, a simple envelope FM sound like you get in deep house basses, but then it's, it's distorted a lot, and um, and it's detuned, and some of the FM's detuned. Um, so yeah, that's the overview of the patch. I'll just show you the synthesis real quick, and then I'll show you how the macros are set up so you can um, play it. So yeah, so first of all, it's an FM sound, so you've got Ableton Operator. I have set it up so that, I don't know if you can see this, um, the little Tetris icon, uh, the routing, is set up as this one. Uh, I did a similar video with this setup for uh, EVM bass. So what you've got is the yellow one, A, it's just sub bass, it's going straight to the output, it's not doing any FM, it's just separate, straight to the filter, not straight to the output, sorry, straight to the filter. If I take it off, Put it back in if I solo it. That's it. It's just a sub bass. It's re this is a really cool routing for having a sub bass underneath some FM. Um, but then, yeah, and B, B and A are basically both the same. They're both uh, sine waves, um, almost exactly the same. But then B is uh, is added is it has FM added to it from C, which I'll switch on now. It's, it's higher up, it's, uh, it's tuned higher, and it's off. If I put in key, it sounds like that. Well, they're the right harmonic, I mean, for FM. But um, So it's off, I've just put it off, so it's a little bit off uh, the tuning, so it starts to get nasty, and it's got a tight envelope. If I put it up, you get that sort of sound. Um, and then C is frequently mod modulated by D to make it even dirtier. Um, and that's down and lower to sort of bring it down into the bass frequencies uh, again. Um, and it's a, it's a short decay envelope as well, just like a plucky bass sound. And then I'll add the A in, which is the si uh, sub bass under it. Um, I think they're all sine waves. Just check, I can't actually remember how to set it up, but they should all be sine waves like traditional FM. Um, yeah, and that's it for the uh, oscillators. And then they go through the filter, and the filter on Ableton Analog is awesome because it's like an analog synth modeler, uh, which you don't normally get on FM. Um, so yeah, I've set it to, to have drive, so it's distorted at the filter, and also shaper. It's got this second um, distortion uh, that adds harmonics. If I whack these up, you'll hear them. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that's the filter section. Uh, it's got it's got a tight envelope as well. If I take the filter, the, um, that's just to cut it down. Um, uh, if I open it up, sorry, that's what it sounds like. So yeah, the filter is cutting it short uh, and like uh, softening it a bit because it's quite harsh without the filter. Um, then after that, it's been distorted again by overdrive. If I turn that up, you can hear that the harmonics it's adding. Um, and then there's an echo unit just to give it that uh, that rhythmic delay. If I switch it off, it does that. And then after that, it's a drum bus. Just it's not it's not on. Um, it's only default set twenty percent. Uh, so it's not doing a lot, but it's like gluing. Um, it's, it's bringing the delays out of basically is what it's doing. It's distorting everything and bringing it a bit higher. Um, it sounds like that otherwise. And then after the, after after it's so it's picking out basically the the sort of feedback tails and sort of, um, like a, like a glue um, distortion would do uh, to to all your drums. Um, then I've got a resonant LFO here which basically is, I've labelled it that, but it's basically just a filter with some an LFO moving it. And that's what's giving it the movement. If I take it off, it sounds like that. 
if I put it on you can hear some movement it's quite subtle if I pull it this down it's, it's doing that but just more subtly uh, you can tweak this as you like you can change the rate of the LFO but I've, I've put it uh, I've set it at that so it's rhythmic and you can put the amount more um, so yeah that's it that's the patch that's all one rack and like i said you can download it. it's eq'd at the end as well um but yeah that's that's um that's the sound and then i've set the macros at the front to tweak it uh this is the i'll start at the end because that's the drum bus that goes before the filter uh but brings out the delays and this means that sort of moving filter that resonant filter will have more effect on those um on those delays because they're being brought out and added harmonics to with the distortion and you can really you can and the rest base here to tweak the bass sound you get quite a nasty sound like a nicely I mean not nasty like a nicely uh, distorted bass and that adds a lot of character that's the fill that's the operators fill to drive um, and that's resonance which can get really screamy um, and if you play with this filter setting that will, that will affect the um, and, and this and this cutoff that will affect the resonant too uh, so yeah that's that's uh, resonance uh, and filter cutoff and then these two are the FM controls um, oscillator D it's just their level but it's how much um, FM they'll be they'll be providing they'll be uh, um, this the FM level so yeah so that's pushing that's that's basically uh, the the low top uh, FM and that's the high one and you can tweak these and while while it's while the sound's playing um, and automate them and keep the sound moving basically. And time time this is the last one which is really good in Ableton Operator. It it basically just shortens all envelopes if you put it down. Or, or if you push it up, it opens them all. I normally set that as the first macro for all my FM patches or for any operator patches. Um, it's pretty good. Wavetable has the same feature as well. So yeah, that's it. Um, I think you, there are all the macros are set up there to tweak. If I was going to uh, automate anything else, it would be this filter. You can automate that a bit. Um, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it. I hope you find this useful as a good starting point, at least anyway, for this kind of bass sound. And if you take all the distortions off, it's probably going to be like a sort of deep house bass anyway. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you found this useful. Please leave us a comment below. Um, like and subscribe if you can. And uh, yeah, that's it for, for me for today. Um, have a good day and good luck with the music making. Take care. Goodbye.